to YouTube, the Cox motor and stand is done. I do have the wire hooked up, but it doesn't matter anymore because I blew the glow plug. Um, uh, I got a spare battery in there. Big lug nut that I found on the road on the way home from the hardware store, getting little bolts and stuff and screws. Well, actually, I went to get glue mainly. Um, I have all that kind of stuff, but uh, so batteries in there. And I just have a little connector on there rigged up and then once the engine's running you just remove it uh, but what I did was is I uh, hooked the battery up and then I was letting it glow and I guess uh, after I um, I had the 1.5 volts hooked up to it and I think after I let it sit on there too long I guess it got too hot and it went off which is my dumb own dumb fault but you know um, so I kind of blew it out uh, but you know what are you gonna do? Uh, so I just got another order another head um, for here, and uh, but I am gonna remove that just not that it's still shorting out or something like that. So, but uh, left it on just to show what it looks like. Uh, gas tank. And it's got a breather line that goes over here. And that way, it will blow air into that line, and it will help draw the fuel up into the engine. Uh, but it can do it on its own. Um, but uh, this helps push the air in there. Uh, so that way, we're not starving from air uh, ventilation. Uh, you know, of course, it's not going to really trap any air too much, but it should do a little something to help. And I got a spring, uh, it's got the spring assist start, so this rotated the opposite direction, then it pushes it that way. You wind it up maybe once or twice. This is what I have here, just uh, taped up. Maybe I can get a little holder. Just epoxied together. Uh, I don't even know what you call those things, it's just a little dish. Uh, so it's dart on it. Uh, it's a little container. Fill it up with fuel. It's probably around the size of the uh, normal Cox fuel tanks. Maybe just a little bigger, maybe a little smaller. I don't know, but it's around there. Uh, so then there's some weed whacker fuel line that I have. That's all I had. Uh, it works with the nitro too, so and uh, I also found out the nitro actual uh, fuel line works with gas too and uh, there's the um, the uh, negative wire what it does is it hooks up to one of the back and I have it uh, on one of the back uh, crank case bolts um, that holds this back piece on there and I have that wire hooked up for ground um, so that way I don't have to have two wires run to here uh, for the head and then because it because when you hook them hook them up to the head or the cylinder all the time it creates arcing which uh, makes it look all rough and stuff around here I notice a lot of them are like that there's a hole in the back for the carburetor mounting it's mounted in there and then I have it sticking out here so that way when I go want to go start it take a vice grip or a clamp if you even need one I think you can hold it too um, and then just clamp it down onto the table or wherever you're hooking it up to um, and you can start it. I actually was thinking maybe I should have it just some on the back and then just put weight on it. Uh, that would work too. But uh, I just decided to take it a little overboard and make it real easy uh, for working on. Like I said, I'm probably not going to put this on any plane. Um, I'm probably just going to leave it on the stand. Just want to play around with it. I got it for like, uh, I got it for only um, 15 bucks, and uh, I know these are kind of common, so it's not that's something real cool. But uh, like, I mean, it's pretty neat looking thing. But um, you know, I figure I just leave it on the stand, let for show. Um, but uh, you can get these things for real cheap. I may get a couple more. I want to get some of the ones that have the tanks on them. 
uh, like little baby bees and uh, the shirt starts and stuff some more of those and uh, you know I get some of those little planes because I think those are uh, little the smaller planes I want to try them out I had a nitro gas plane I flew it a few times crashed it once uh, pissed me off I had some foamy electric ones and stuff and uh, I think they were pretty cool too um, but uh, I want to try something real small on one of these planes. They're real simple, you know. They only run at one speed unless you decide to modify them with a the throttle, uh, which you can on some of the uh, Cox models. Um, but, you know, uh, I would start it up for you right now, but can't, obviously, because I, I did order another uh, glow plug for it, another glow head. Um, but... What are you going to do, you know? Shit happens. Uh, but this does come off here. And I can probably get it off. I don't have it really tightened down. I want to get one of the tools for that, too. There's the piston. It was test ran before. Uh, it was actually, re this was a restored uh, Cox model. I don't know what the really the tops of the pistons look like. It does look like it was used, and uh, the way this whole thing feels, um, it it doesn't feel like it's been used. Uh, but it was test ran, so um, probably on some uh, probably just some castor oil or something or nitro fuel. What's really the difference? I'm not really sure. Uh, all I know is you put it in the plane.